the students in present video i am going to explain about 19th problem from consignment techniques topic i am making this video for degree students previous videos links are available in the description box let us see the question first narendra consigns 1000 cases of goods costing 1000 rupees each to anil narendra paid 10000 rupees for carriage it is found that 50 cases have been lost in transit and 100 cases are still in transit Anil is entitled to a commission of 10% on sales. He sold 700 cases at 1,400 rupees each. His expenses, clearing charges 8,500, warehousing 17,000. Insurance company paid 80% of the loss. Assume that no portion of the expenses incurred by the consignee is attributable to the damaged goods. Drop consignment account, abnormal loss account in the books of Narendra. This is a question. Let us see the solution for this. Important points of this problem I have written on the board. Narendra Anil, both are in consignment business. Narendra sent 1000 cases to Anil on consignment. So Narendra is a consignor, Anil is consignee. One case cost price is 1000 rupees. To send these goods, consignor incurred 10,000 rupees expenditure. In transit, 50 cases were damaged. These goods are insured and the insurance company accepted to pay 80% of the damaged value. 100 cases are in transit. This is new point. So how many cases are received by consignee? Goods sent 1000 cases. Damage 50. Goods in transit 100. 50 plus 100. 150 no? So 1000 minus 150. 850 cases are received by Ali. And he sold 700 cases at the rate of 1400 rupees each. So 850 minus 700, 150 cases are unsold. To sell these goods, he incurred clearing charges 8500, warehousing charges 17000. So consignee's total expenditure is 25500. He is entitled to a commission of 10% on sales. So what is asking in the question? Consignment account, abnormal loss account we have to prepare. So these two accounts we prepare in consignor's books. So ledger of consignor is a heading. As we are preparing ledger of consignor, analyze all the transactions from consignor's point of view. First consignment account. Then we prepare abnormal loss account. First what happened? Narendra sent 1000 cases on consignment now. Entry. Consignment account data to goods sent on consignment account. So in consignment account, David side. Two goods sent on consignment account. 1000 cases at the rate of 1000 rupees each. 10 lakh rupees. Next, to send these goods, consignor incurred expenditure now. Consignment account is a nominal account. So David side, consignment business related expenses, losses we should show. Credit side, incomes and gains. So, consignment expenditure, David said, 10,000. For a consignor's expenditure, you have to write to bank account. Damaged goods and the goods in transit. These two values at the end we will see. Sales, income. So, incomes in consignment account credit said we should write. Goods are sold by Anil. Write down his name. By Anil account. 700 cases. At the rate of 1400 each, 9 lakh 80,000. Next, consignee's expenditure 25,500. In consignment account, debit side, we have to show expenses now 25,500. For consignee's expenditure, his name we should write to Anil account. Next, consignee's commission. For consignment business, this commission is an expenditure. So, debit side. For consignee's commission also, write down his name to Anil account on sales amount 10%, 9,80,000 into 10%, 98,000 rupees. So everything we have written. Finally, unsold stock value calculation, goods in transit calculation, abnormal loss value calculation. First, abnormal loss calculation. Working notes heading is abnormal loss value calculation. Cost of 50 cases. 
बिकॉज फिफ्टी केसेस आर डैमेज एबनॉर्मल लास्ट क्वांटिटी फिफ्टी केसेस ना सो दिस इज फिफ्टी केसेस कास्ट फर्स्ट वी शुड टेक वन केस कास्ट प्राइस इज थाउजेंड रुपीज ना देर फॉर फिफ्टी केसेस इन टू थाउजेंड रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू दिस कंजेन और डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसेस वी शुड एड प्लस प्रिपोर्शनेट डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसेस ऑफ नरेंद्र सो ऑन टोटल गुड्स ऑन थाउजेंड केसेस नरेंद्र इंकर्ड टेन थाउजेंड एक्सपेंडिचर नाउ वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग अनसोल्ड स्टॉक वैल्यू सो अनसोल्ड स्टॉक क्वांटिटी इज फिफ्टी केसेस ना फिफ्टी केसेस रिलेटेड एक्सपेंसेस वी शुड टेक हियर ऑन थाउजेंड केसेस इफ कंजाइन और एक्सपेंडिचर इज टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑन फिफ्टी केसेस हाउ मच सो टेन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई थाउजेंड इन टू फिफ्टी इज इक्वल फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज डोंट टेक कंजाइन इज डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंडिचर हियर बिकॉज Kanzaini is not incurring expenditure on this fifty cases on damaged goods. So Kanzaini received thousand minus fifty minus hundred eight fifty. On eight fifty cases only he incurred those expenses. No, means on damaged goods Kanzaini didn't incur any expenditure. Therefore Kanzaini is direct expenditure. We should not consider here. Total loss value is fifty thousand five hundred. An insurance company paid a claim of eighty percent. So eighty percent of fifty thousand five hundred is equal to forty thousand four hundred. Then final loss amount is ten thousand one hundred. Abnormal loss value is ten thousand one hundred. Once you recollect previous videos, sixteenth problem, seventeenth problem, and eighteenth problem. In those problems, he didn't ask abnormal loss account, but in present problem he asked abnormal loss account. So in previous problems for abnormal loss in case of insurance, we used to write this entry now: bank account data, how much money is paid by insurance company, forty thousand four hundred, that value. Finally, how much is the loss to consumer? Ten thousand one hundred. That amount we used to transfer to P and L account, and this to in consignment account credit side we have to show. So if abnormal loss account is not prepared, then this is the entry for abnormal loss. But in present problem, he is asking us to prepare abnormal loss account. Therefore, we should not write this entry. These two are the entries related with the abnormal loss. First entry. Damaged goods value is fifty thousand five hundred. Now, for this fifty thousand five hundred, first entry we should write. Entry is abnormal loss account data to consignment account fifty thousand five hundred. Next, abnormal loss account we created by debiting with the fifty thousand five hundred. Now we should cancel. So to cancel, we should credit abnormal loss account with the same amount. In this amount. Forty thousand four hundred is received from insurance company for that debit bank account. Ten thousand one hundred is not going to come. This is the final loss to consumer. That amount we should debit to profit and loss account. So by using abnormal loss account we wrote the entries. So by posting these two entries we have to prepare abnormal loss account also. Now these two entries in consignment account first we post. See the first entry. Consignment account is created. Therefore, first entry credit side we should post by abnormal loss account amount fifty thousand five hundred rupees. In second entry, consignment account is not there. Therefore, second entry we should not post in consignment account. So abnormal loss value calculation is completed. Next come to unsold stock value calculation. Second working notes heading is calculation of unsold stock value. Here unsold stock is in two forms. First one, hundred goods are in transit. These goods are not yet sold, so they come under unsold stock. Next, thousand cases are sent, fifty are damaged, hundred are in transit. So thousand minus one fifty, eight fifty. In 850, consignee sold 700. So with the consignee, 150 cases are there. 850 minus 700. So 
some goods are in transit form some goods are with a consignee goods in transit 100 cases goods with a consignee 150 cases so these two values if you add then only unsold stock value comes so unsold stock value in two stages i have calculated first one goods in transit value cost of goods in transit 100 cases are in transit so 100 cases into one case cost price is 1000 rupees now 1000 is equal to 1 lakh to this consign or proportionate direct expenditure we should add plus proportionate direct expenses of narendra on total goods on 1000 cases narendra incurred 10000 rupees expenditure now which is direct then on 100 cases nothing but on goods in transit consignors direct expenditure is how much so 10000 divided by 1000 into 100 is equal to 1000 rupees so on goods in transit consignors direct expenditure is 1000 rupees and i am not taking consignee's direct expenditure here because consignee is not at received 100 cases now consignee received 850 cases only on 850 cases he spent that expenditure so on this goods in transit on 100 cases consignee didn't incur any expenditure that is why his expenditure we should not add so while calculating abnormal loss value also same concept we use now these two values total 1 lakh 1000 this is value of goods in transit to this with the consignee some goods are there now 150 cases this goods value also we should add total goods said 1000 cases in this 100 are in transit 50 are damaged 700 are sold 100 plus 50 plus 700 850 if you did at 850 from 1000 unsold stock with the consignee is 150 cases then cost of this 150 cases first we should calculate 150 cases into one case cost price is 1000 no 1000 is equal to 150000 to this proportionate direct expenses of consignor and consignee we should add plus proportionate direct expenses of consignor narendra on 1000 cases narendra incurred 10000 expenditure so unsold stock quantity one 150 cases no then the question is on 1000 cases if consignor's direct expenditure is 10000 on 150 cases how much 10,000 divided by 1,000 into 150 is equal 1,500. So on unsold stock, consignor direct expenditure is 1,500. And on these 850 cases, consignee also incur expenditure now. So consignee direct expenditure also we should add here. Plus proportionate direct expenses of any consignee. On 850 cases, consignee incurred once you see here, consignee's expenditure, clearing charges 8,500, warehousing charges 17,000, total 25,500. Here, 8,500 is direct expenditure, 17,000 is indirect expenditure. So, for unsold stock calculation purpose, only direct expenditure we should consider now. So, 8,500 we should consider. 8,500 is spent on 850 cases. We are calculating 150 cases value. So question is on 850 cases, if a consignee expenditure is 8,500, on 150 cases, how much? 8,500 divided by 850 into 150 is equal 1,500. So if you add these three amounts, total is 1,53,000. This is 150 cases value. So goods in transit, 100 cases value is 1 lakh 1000 goods with the consignee 150 cases value is 1 lakh 53000 if you add this to then only unsold stock value comes so total value is 2 lakh 54000 rupees for this unsold stock value this amount in consignment account credit side we should show now 
टू लैख फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर अनसोल्ड स्टॉक वी आर राइट बाय कंसाइनमेंट स्टॉक अकाउंट सो एवरीथिंग इज कंप्लीटेड फाइनली फाइंड आउट द प्रॉफिट और लॉस इन कंसाइनमेंट बिजनेस क्रेडिट टोटल माइनस डेबिट टोटल बिकॉज क्रेडिट टोटल इज मोर देन डेबिट टोटल क्रेडिट अमाउंट कॉलम टोटल इज ट्वेल्व लैख एटी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इनकम टोटल डेबिट अमाउंट कॉलम टोटल इज लेवन लैख थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एक्सपेंडिचर टोटल इनकम टोटल इज मोर देन एक्सपेंडिचर टोटल सो द डिफरेंस इज प्रॉफिट डेबिट सैड टोटल इज लेस टू सो डेबिट सैड शो दिस प्रॉफिट वन लैख फिफ्टी वन थाउजेंड रुपीज This amount we should transfer to profit and loss account. To profit and loss account. Two sides highest total, twelve lakh eighty four thousand five hundred. Credit side also same. Consignment account is completed. Next we have to prepare abnormal loss account. In whose books? In consignor's books. Consignee is not at all related with this abnormal loss. So in consignee's books, as usual. Only one account that is consignor's account, Narendra account. We have to prepare. Second account in consignor's ledger, abnormal loss account. These two entries we have to post. In first entry, abnormal loss account is debited, so debit side we should post. In particulars column, write down to consignment account. To consignment account, fifty thousand five hundred. In second entry, abnormal loss account is created. So this entry credit side we should post. We debited two accounts now: bank account, profit and loss account. These two accounts we should write in particular column. By bank account forty thousand four hundred. By profit and loss account ten thousand one hundred. Close the account. Debit total and credit total both are same. So there is no balance carried out in this account. Abnormal loss account is closed. So fifty goods are damaged now. This fifty goods value is fifty thousand five hundred. In this, insurance company paid forty thousand four hundred. Transfer that amount to bank account. And finally, consignor is incurring ten thousand hundred rupees loss. This amount we should transfer to profit and loss account. So this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.